Is Come on now, and you a parent. You know you what I'm saying? Too. Yes, I don't I know. want our kid no more. I'm sorry. What? You don't be here. You don't be here taking care of her. You don't be going through all the stressful stuff that I, that I be going through. Sure. I want to go out. I want to go to the club. I want to like we gonna get into the real when y'all come up over here, man. So put your big boy pants on when you come over here, folks. For real. Put your big boy pants on, and we gonna get it to it straight like that, folks. But definitely hit that like button for the boy if you here for a good time, not a long time. You ain't here to stay. Hit that like button, man. Value Christ over your life, man. I appreciate all of the supporters, everybody that's been chipping in to help me, whether it be from donations, sharing the videos, liking the videos, commenting on the video. And while I'm speaking of liking the video, commenting on the video, sharing the video, I would appreciate y'all so very much. You know, it ain't even about, it's not about me, it's for y'all, you know, and Sadly, some people, a lot of people don't understand that, um, you know, when uh, 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 when we get out here and we preach this word, when we try to eat or even evangelize, however you look at it, when we get out here, it's not for me that I do this. I know the God of uh, all truth and the God of peace. I know him. And so, like he said, though, when you, you know, uh, put my talents in the bank. You should be able to collect interest. That's spiritual. I'll let y'all figure that out whenever you do. But unless God word, I'm kind of giving it to y'all without before even, you know, but unless God word is actually on your heart and in your heart, you won't be able to give it out. You feel me? You won't be able to give it out. I don't want to go too much deep into that. But y'all, those who you feel me, um, watch those who support. I definitely appreciate y'all. I definitely appreciate y'all. It's not by my own, you know, want or will is that I'm doing this, but it's God has, you know, his spirit has led me to doing this. His spirit has led me to doing that. But yeah, man, value Christ over your life. Before we start this video, before we start this video, man, I gotta, I gotta, I just want to give the men and the women, you know, women, y'all need to understand there's a reason why in men, each of us, because the spirit of Jezebel can operate in men and in women. Men and women. So we need to be very, very critical. You know, again, the ears and the eyes are the windows to your soul. And if Satan controls the frequencies, 95% of the time when you're dealing with something that you can feel, see, hear, uh, 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 you know, any kind of frequency that gets you to feel a certain way, it's him. The, the, the prince of the power of the air is the one who's you feel me sending this frequency out he owns the people uh he owns the the news and all the frequencies everything the uh radio stations anything that you can hear they he own it all he own it all this is the hardest test that we got to go through you know um living in a world full of wickedness and uh many people trust in the government but uh i just want to give a few characteristics of the the spirit of jezebel y'all know me y'all know i'm coming with scriptures today but i want to give a few characteristics in women Please don't think that people are coming at y'all, you know, because uh, uh, we hate y'all or, or you know, um, you feel me? Uh, we just looking down on y'all or we hating on y'all. No, this is a man of God speaking to you, you know, from God, like from the word of God. And there again, so there's a lot of people who profess to know God. Like he said in his word, a lot of people profess to know God. But in, in their deeds, deny him. So what you do, how you live in your life, deny him. It ain't about talking about you love God, women and men. It ain't just, oh, got Luke 13 or uh, John 3, 16 in your uh, bio. But the rest of what you per portray to the world, it's an evil communication. It's an evil communication. And God says evil communication corrupt good manners. When people see you, you're putting something off. So what are you giving off, women? Because lasciviousness, which is we call what sex appeal today, y'all. This is why he says study to show yourself approved, not read, but the word of God. You have to study like you studied in class. But real quick, the spirit of Jezebel, I'm gonna give eight signs, eight signs of Jezebel. One, she operates in men and women. Two, the spirit causes control, manipulation. And domination, and domination is a form of witchcraft. So uh, so much is, uh, not so much, but also the beautifying of the eye. Uh, women with y'all long hair being out, with the makeup, 
all of those things are witchcraft. And I know that the, when I start to say that, y'all think everything, man, go and read the word of God. The world doesn't love you. What it promotes to you is all a path of iniquity, a path that is not going to send you to righteousness. It's not going to send you to the pearly gates. It's not. It causes fear, flight, and discouragement. So fear produces flight, but fear produces discouragement which produces flight. So you might be with a woman who just got that spirit. She's always down or a man who's always down. They are always, you feel me? Uh, 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 what, what they call them? Nagging nannies or whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, um, it seduces and provokes sexual immorality in Jezebel. She was able to gain control with her sexual promiscuousness. You feel me? And that's how the spirit of Jezebel is operating through the women today. They are operating through them, through what they are presented to the men, because men ain't hearing what they saying. They see what they see. And that is a communication. So when they dress half uh, uh, half naked, the, the communication to a man is easy access. And this, the, the, this, this tainted flesh sees that and knows that we fight in spiritual war. It's spiritual. What you can't, the things that you see produces an emotion. The things that you hear produces an emotion. That's spiritual. Teaches false doctrine. Jezebel is going to have, uh, 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 not only teaches false doctrine, but Jezebel is, um, you feel me? Uh, uh, these, a lot of women out here that operate with the spirit of Jezebel and they got this kind of authority like spirit with dominion and they think they can teach a man and things like that. And I'm not saying you can't help a man. You know, you help a man. We help each other. But God said a man leads. But, you know, um, the Jezebel spirited women, they act as though that they believe. But only to gain. You feel me? Satan is operating through anyone who is willing to allow it to be so that they can gain. If you are looking to gain anything in this world and you don't care how you get it, he can use you. And he is using me. It says they love leadership positions. They thrive where leadership is weak. So a weak man, a spirit of Jezebel will always be able to come in and um dethrone that man from whatever high place that he might be on. Not repentant. They never change their mind to knowing that the things that the world is promoting, this, this music, this wicked music that these people listen and playing, they never, they never change the mind and say that it is wrong. They never look in the mirror and say, what are we doing wrong? It's always going to be to point the finger. And I point the finger at the men most times, women. So it's not about pointing finger at y'all. It's about pointing the finger at the sin. It's about pointing fingers at a uh, uh, God doesn't hate the, the, the us. It's he hate what we do in this body. The body is what y'all need to understand. You are a man and a woman of two natures, body and soul. Your soul is a spirit. And if you're not feeding it, you're going to lack the nutrients it takes to actually be strong enough to not be conformed to this world. Well, let's start the video, man. And I got some scriptures for y'all. Y'all know it. You know what I'm saying? Too. Yes, I don't want to repeat it no more. I'm sorry. What? You don't be here. You don't be here taking care of her. You don't. Yo, love, let me, let me, let me, let me go back. Let me start all the way over. So y'all can hear that from the top. Oh, my no, face. I said, let them know what you said. This is not a... It's not for everybody. No, everybody know. need to know. This is so Come on now. It ain't for everybody. It ain't for everybody. It ain't for everybody. When them cameras come on, y'all know everybody throwing. You know, I don't think that it was something that I would have did get the camera out. But sometimes these things need to be put on display so that you can see how the women and the men are out here operating. But let's listen to what she say. Let's listen to what this woman is out here talking about. You a parent. You know what I'm saying? Too. Yes, I don't I know. want to no more. I'm sorry. What? You don't be here. You don't be here taking care of her. You don't be going through all the stressful stuff that I, that I be going through. So, I want to go out. I want to go to the club. I want to travel. I want to. Y'all hear that? Let me give you that scripture real quick. Because what I come here to do, it's not about solely me talking about. Blah, blah, blah. I want y'all to hear the word of God. Ecclesiastes 7:26 says this, and it's about a woman. This is about a woman, and men and women listen clear. Listen clear, because women, y'all are also uh, falling in love with women and y'all are being led by women. 
And so Satan don't care, woman or man. He just need a vessel to gather in all of whom he can to bring them down with him. He don't care. So y'all need to care. And then I can't care more about your soul than you do. But anyways, he says, uh, uh, this is 726. 726, Ecclesiastes. And I find more bitter than death. Y'all hear that? The power in that God is defined in the words. That's where you could get the power of God in the word. Every word means something. And I find more bitter than death. King Solomon was saying, the woman whose heart is snares in nets. So her heart is a trap. How many men have lost their lives due to giving their heart to a woman whose heart was a trap? The enemy sent them. You didn't know it because you wasn't looking at what your uh, uh, God said that a wise man sees not with his eyes. He sees with his mind. But when you are led by your flesh, you can look at something and look good and don't know that the enemy just sent her to you because he knows that you are a man of the flesh and that that woman will get you to lay, give all your power to her so that you can lay or she can lay your life into the hands of, of Satan. And the enemy. man, y'all know what it is. How many men have got set up due to a woman? How many men? happen to cash I don't think a woman set him up but a woman came up like even even in that situation but let's keep going man all right and I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands this is all spiritual heart is a trap her hands it's like you can't even escape her because the once you lay down what it's gonna be you you he said, if you lay down with a whore, you become one with her. It'll be hard for you to uh, 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 get out of those sexual uh, uh, covenants, those spiritual sexual covenants. It's hard. Only the love of God can burst that band asunder. You see that? A band is something that keeps it together. But only the love of God can burst that band asunder through praying and fasting. And he says, whoso pleaseth God shall escape from her. So a man that pleases God won't end up with a woman like this. But he said, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Look at Zion Williams. Look at all the celebrities. Look at who they lay down with. Look at who. You feel me? Um, Who they choose to sleep with. The sinner, the man who don't please, the man who don't understand or, or seek the word of God. The sinner who seek his, seeketh his own desire will be overtaken by her for sure i want to read another verse i want to read another verse real quick and actually i'm gonna replay this you know the video is real quick y'all stay in this is a teaching moment brothers and sisters this is a teaching moment all right let's go back i got another scripture because i want y'all to really understand what god is trying to convey to us through his word like he said he did not send his only begotten son into the world to condemn the world but through him that the whole world might be saved. But if you have faith that he died for you to be saved, then James said, then uh, faith without works is dead. Show me thy faith without thy works. And I will show you my faith by my works. So with faith without works is dead, you can't profess to love God, but in your deeds, deny him y'all. But only can we live for him when we continuously to strengthen our soul. That is the, the real true life force. The flesh is on the time limit. It's already dead. No, I said, let them know what you said. This is not, a, this is not for everybody. No, this everybody need to know. So Come weird. on now. And you're a parent. You know you're what I'm parent saying? Too. Yes, I don't I know. want our kid no more. I'm sorry. What? You don't be here. I don't want our kid no more. I don't want our kid no more. I just wanted to read a verse to y'all out of Lamentations. And um, this is for the tribe of Judah. The book of Lamentations is solely for Judah, who was shipped off to be held captive in a land not their own, whose language was changed, who was called a byword, such as uh, nigga. And y'all can add the derogatory part on whatever y'all want to, however you want to do it. But this is specifically for Judah. And um, those who got their loins girded about with truth, who truly walk in the truth of the Most High, they have no... A uh, 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 bitterness over seeing that black people who are known as descendants of slaves, we come from the line of Judah. You shouldn't have no bitterness in you from me saying that because you know that not every tree 
that every tree that does not bring it forth good fruit will be chopped down. It doesn't matter that we are from the line of Judah. If we're not living for God, it does not matter. It don't matter if you're a Gentile. If you live for God, it does not matter that you are a Gentile. You are grafted in. And if you are 12 tribes, a natural branch, and you don't live for God, you are grafted out or taken out, rooted out. But uh, anyways, Lamentations 4.3, it says, even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. So what he's saying is they draw their breasts. You know, the women nowadays, they won't even breastfeed because they are worried about partying. and they worried about how they're going to look. They worried about the body and not being a mother nurturing. So that's why our people, the kids grow up off of Similac. They rather put their baby's health and their baby growing up being strong and getting the nutrients that it needs. They rather put that, that all that in, 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 in the uh, hands of the, the world who we know hates us. The world who we know is always conspiring against all of God's people. That's those who will do the will of the father in heaven. That ain't got nothing to do with a skin color. But this is what the people have done. Look at the women nowadays. So much as they not only do they not give breast, but they pay money to get things changed. And anyways, if you got a boyfriend, if you are already with someone, what are you going to the, what, what, what's at the club for you? What's at the club for you as a, as a man who is with this type of woman? Man, bro, I hope that, you know, one, he seek the love of God so he can see who he's dealing with. Seriously, because this is no joke. This is no joke, man. This is wild. I'm going to let y'all listen to it. You don't be here taking care of her. You don't be going through all the stressful stuff that I, that I be going through. So, I want to go out. I want to go to the club. I want to travel. What's stressful that you going through? You ain't say nothing stressful. You, I want to go out. I want to travel. It don't seem like you stress, and it seems like you just want to get out there and party because that's what you see. But hey, I ain't judging, just make it. And 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 really I am judging because God said judge that tree by what fruit it bear. But I'm not condemning. I'm not condemning her. It's crazy. I want to be able to get up at 2 a.m. and go hang with my friends if I want to do it. You don't be no 2 a.m. 2 a.m. What are you? Come on, man. Is it what I find more bitter than death is a woman whose heart is snares, whose hands are like bands. This is, what are you doing at 2 a.m.? You got a child. You got a man who's going out to work. And you rather be going out, hitting the club at 2 a.m. Man, this is the women that y'all are chasing. And you don't even know it because you're not focusing on what's deep inside the woman. You're focusing on what she looked like. And a woman that is promoting a lot, she's selling something. Just so y'all know. What you be what? I'm working. What are you talking about? Doing what? And you sound real selfish like that. Saying that. You sound real I'm selfish. Alone. You're supposed to be her father, and I'm alone. I am her father. And I am here so with where her. Where are you be at? Because you might as well be an uh, absent baby daddy, and I might as well put you on child support. Oh, my God. To be honest. Well, where did they be at right now? With, with your mother. Mm. With my mother. Yeah, because you want to sit here and put but a she camera told me she was going to be here with you. Why would she be here with me when I don't want her? Oh, my God. You sound real selfish, man. I. <laughs> She don't want the baby because she rather, you know, be out there partying at two in the morning. This is like, see, look, the thing is, this this ain't gonna do nothing to nobody. People don't really care, man. People don't really um like they, the word of God uh, uh uh don't really hit hard to people because they don't hear it enough. And like God said, faith comes by hearing and hearing through the word of God and. Faith is the only possible way to even please God. And because we rather buy into everything that the world is doing and what everybody else is doing, it's going to be two thirds. It's going to perish real quick. Second Timothy, second Timothy three says. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, always wanting boasters, always uh, uh, talking about what they got, proud as though that they don't sin. Blasphemers, disrespecting the name of God, disobedient, they do not adhere to the laws of God. But they say disobedient to parents, 
unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. This is the part I want. Without nat, she have no natural affection. Many women just right now in these days want a baby because everybody else got babies. It ain't even a natural affection to love and to nurse the baby up. It's just to do it because everybody else is doing it. You can see she has no natural affection. She wants to go out. Who wants to? Who talk about going to? I thought the clubs was closed at two. I mean, I thought the club closed about two, three. What are you even doing? What are you looking for in the club? Oh, you know who you you know what y'all y'all know what she looking at. I'm gonna play it one more time for y'all to run it back. I know I kind of talked a lot, but this is supposed to be a meditation, brother. It's supposed to be a meditation. It's not about uh fun games, it's about sound doctrine. Um, all the fun in the game and the people that's heaping for themselves, uh teachers, false teachers, they the the the, the destruction for ad heat and somebody that's gonna tickle your little imaginations is hell. Just in case you know. Oh no, I said, know. let them know what you said. This is not a. This is not for everybody. No, this everybody not, need to know. know. This is so Come on now, and you a parent. You know You're what I'm saying? Parent too. Yes, I don't know. Her kid no more. I'm sorry. What? You don't be here. You don't be here taking care of her. You don't be going through all the stressful stuff that I, that I be going through. Sure. I want to go out. I want to go to the club. I want to travel. I want to be able to get up at two a.m. and go home with my friends if I want to do it. You don't be nowhere to be found. What? I'm working. What are you talking about? Doing what? Then you sound real selfish like that. Saying that you sound real I'm alone. You're supposed to be her father, and I'm alone. I am her father, and I am here so with where her. Where you be at? Because you might as well be an accident. He working. He working. He's at work. It's like what well, they said. You can't. You can give him the woman the moon, and she's still gonna want more. Because women are not in the natural essence. If they don't have a man of God teaching them to be controlled, to control the, all the emotions of which they feel, they shooting for the stars and more. That's why Satan was able to uh deceive and trick Eve. Adam wasn't tricked. He sinned. He knew what he was doing. The woman was tricked because they are spiritually fragile. They need a covering. They need somebody to cover them. Hey, Daddy, and I might as well put you on child support. Oh, my God. To be honest. Well, where did they be at right now? I thought child support was because the father wasn't actually helping. You want to put him on child support because, like, this don't even make sense. With your mother? With my mother. Yeah, because you want to sit here and put but a she camera told me she was going to be here with you. Why would she be here with me without with her? Oh, my God. You sound real selfish, man. I, like, I don't even understand how we even going through this right because now. Because you don't be here. I got to sit there and bathe your child every night. I got to sit But that's here. what you're supposed to do. I got to sit here and listen to your child cry. She's so angry. I got to sit here and listen to your child. It ain't child chick kid no more. This is wild, man. Y'all got to be careful who y'all laying down with, dog. Be very, 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 very careful who you laying down with. Be very careful who you allow to even speak onto your heart because your ears is a, 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 a direct access, direct gateway to your soul, man. Your heart is the foundation. And if the enemy is privately setting their bow to send darts at the heart of the righteous, then you need to be making sure that you, every last one of us need to be making sure that we are seeking first the kingdom of God through his word so that we can get discernment, so that we can be able to spot out the enemy when the enemy is right dead smack in our face. The enemy could be in your own household like Christ said, but value Christ over your life, man. Praying for y'all. Definitely praying for y'all. Pray for yourselves and pray for me, man. Value your life over Christ.